we're back here at Henry's and Henry has built the first stage of his oven and you can see he's just at the render stage and Henry how long did it take you getting to this stage how long did it take you building it well good day Tom and, and welcome back obviously um, what what we've done since the last time you were here if you remember we had all the, the, the metal struts across ready for putting the asbestos uh, board down, I shouldn't say asbestos, hardy board, and there's two layers of that. And, uh, and this morning I started about nine o'clock and I started to do the first stage of the oven. And really, it was really quite simple. It was just laying everything out, making And sure you started all this at nine o'clock this morning? Nine o'clock and I finished about two o'clock this afternoon. So and you got, to, you got to that stage, that's really about three, four hours. Four or five hours, yep. And the, the whole idea is to prepare yourself for everything there. Um, and obviously to prepare the base. Once you've got your base set up, it's just a matter of putting your bricks on there. Once they're all uh, together, then it's just a matter of the chicken wire and rendering it. Now, we'll leave this to dry for another 24 hours, and then tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, I'll be in there, I'll be putting the blanket over there, I'll be fitting the chimney, I'll also be putting the chicken wire on and putting the last bit of render. I plan to colour my render so it matches in with the decor. Colour my um, world, eh? Colour my world, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and tomorrow should see the finished product. Oh my God, tomorrow, finished? Tomorrow, done. Oh, Henry, this is unbelievable. You're very anxious to get these pizzas going, aren't you? I certainly am, yeah. We're going to have a big pizza party, but it's already. Are we invited? Obviously. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that is absolutely, Henry, that is absolutely fantastic. I just cannot believe that you could uh, get to that stage so quickly. And it looks really very straight and uh, it really looks very, I mean, you'd nearly think it was a finished product at the moment. Absolutely, I think once, once after tomorrow, we're gonna leave it about a week and then we're gonna bed it in. We're gonna fire it up, not cook any pizzas, but just bed it in for a couple of times. Um, obviously, we're gonna go to one of your pizza demonstrations. You're more uh, than so, welcome. So that we get that right and that'll be this Wednesday. And, uh, and after that, we should be ready to go. No worries at all. Well, we're going to have a special demonstration night, so maybe you'd come to that, that as well, Henry. Oh, I'll be, there. I'll be there. And But you can cook on this, Henry, when you're drying it out. When you're doing your couple of little fires, you can actually cook on there. So you don't, right, you don't have yeah. to wait. Yeah, I thought we'd just give it a go, see if we come up with any uh, cracks or, or issues before we actually start doing the pizza. But that won't affect the food when you're cooking the food, so don't worry about that. If you want to cook something on it, do, do cook on it straight okay. away. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a trial out. So we'll see you back when you're cooking on your oven then? Absolutely, yeah. I'll thanks. see you back tomorrow for the next day. Oh, good. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank Tom. you very Cheers. much. Thank you. Here we are back at Henry's, and I believe Henry has made an absolutely wonderful creation. So we want to have a look at it, and here is the... Oh, my God. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, Henry, where are you? Here's Henry. Oh, my God, Henry, this is absolutely... How are you? Tom, hi. Hey, this is good. absolutely fantastic. Henry, what... Did you do all this yourself, or did you get professionals in to do this? No, 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 no. This, this is... If you remember last time you were here, Tom, we were about three quarters of the way through. And it was just, you know, to spend another couple of days in of obviously painting, tiling, getting the bull nose, and obviously creating the mosaic. And I thought I would have real difficulty with the mosaic. I spent days running around everywhere, and the most uh, uh, easiest solution to it all was you just go down to the tile shop, and they actually sell these tiles on, on a matte finish. You just cut them out and create your own mosaic. That there was about $30 worth. Oh my goodness. And took really about a couple of hours to do. So, so that was it. And Henry, have you done mosaicing before? Never. Never. Again, it's it's something you, you, you need to do and you have to learn quickly, obviously, uh, when you're, you're faced with a task like this. And, and but what it was about, easy. What about your tiling here? Like, you, you must have done tiling before. No, 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 I haven't. This, this is the first attempt at tiling and, uh, and obviously once we'd had got the cement board down and then got the oven in position, it was just then uh, building this up and just making sure you're fairly flat. And, you know, you don't have to be perfect. It's an outside... But uh, that is perfect, thing. Henry. I mean, well, that, that I is mean a tiler wouldn't agree with you, but... <laughs> a tiler wouldn't agree with you, but I, I reckon it's good enough anyhow. But it's created two workspaces. And look at Henry, I love what you've done here with the bone nose. You've matched the limestone. It, because it came from the same place the limestone came from. They sell bull nose. So it's just a matter of going back, seeing the product they've got, and buying them. These were about four or five dollars each. 
My goodness, Henry, that is very, very creative. Very, very creative. It's absolutely beautiful. And what you've got, you've got storage space here. What, what have you... Well, always the biggest problem is, is that i found with people who, who have pizza ovens is that they leave a space to throw all the wood in and it's unsightly. Okay, so what I wanted to do was have a, a tidy kind of area. So I decided to create a door. Um, oh, look at on that. A racing, and that's where we store the wood. Oh, and so you don't have this unsightly chunks of wood lying around everywhere, you know, or in the middle. And I see you've kept it up a, a, a block so it's rain. I've raised it so no rain? water can come in there. Oh, brilliant. You know, so that's another uh, little thing. And it's just a little clip in there. And that then matches the back fence work. Oh, no, it does as well. <laughs> so it, it's, it's been a, a whole of a, you know, a design thing, for, so to speak. Well, all I can say, Henry, is for this is unbelievable. I mean, I just, uh, I've been around a lot of ovens and, and seen yeah. a lot built, but for a first time, or uh, from the tiling to the bull nose, for the to the lime, the the the, 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 the stonework, lime stonework, it's just absolutely, it's just fantastic. The, the whole idea of this is that we just didn't want a pizza oven that you throw into the back of the garden. It has to blend in, so it has to become a part of the garden. Uh, so. In designing this, although designed it after it designed the garden, it had to match in with everything. That's why we used the, the limestone, that's why we used the colours. And if you stand back and look at it, everything starts to match in. We even repainted the wall so that you get, you know, this blend of colours that come in that terracotta type of uh, Middle Eastern type of look, I suppose. And, uh, and it certainly has worked in this case. Well, and as, as it ages, as you get the limestone blocks that have aged there, so will this age. And eventually they'll all look as part of it. Well, I just love your, I just love your outdoor, or shall we call it al fresco? I just love it, Henry. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And uh, are we going to be invited around for pizza? <laughs> for sure, for sure. We've had it going a couple of times, um, just to test it out. It does work good. Um, what I was amazed was that we actually don't get a huge amount of smoke that comes out of the front. The flue actually picks up the smoke before it gets to the front of the oven and, and carries Because that's out. what your wife, Mary, was concerned we, about. We had a, a pizza oven that we bought from Bunnings, a steel one, you know, and it was a smoker as well. But for the first 10 or 15 minutes, it used to smoke the place out. And this is why we went to this type of oven. And believe you me, we get minimum amount of smoke that comes out of the front. Oh, we get a little bit to be expected. Oh yeah, when you first but, And then once it's heated up, it's just no smoke at all. Oh, well, I'm so delighted. Really I'm, good. I'm delighted for that. Well, Henry, thank you very much, and it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank, and, thank and you for uh, selling me the pizza oven. <laughs> <laughs> I will be back, with, if we're invited, we'll certainly be back for a pizza. Okay, no and worries. Thank, thank you again. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.